Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Year End Wizard assists you in the process of closing out your first open fiscal year, payroll tax year, or both. Before you start this wizard, there are a few tasks that you should perform. You should print out any unprinted items, such as invoices and payroll checks. You should also clear the Waiting on Bill checkbox within the Purchases Receive Inventory window for any outstanding vendor purchases. If you start the wizard before you've done this, it will not proceed. You may also want to purge inactive records before this, although it isn't required. Also, since this process can take a long time to run, it's recommended that you do it at the end of your business day. Also, make sure that all the other applications are closed before you begin. Just like the Purge Wizard, in this wizard you simply read the screens and answer any questions to provide it with the information it requests. When you're finished with the screen, you simply click the Next button to continue to the end of the wizard. You can also click the Back button to go back to previous screens and change your answers if necessary. To start the Year End Wizard, select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to System, and then choose the Year End Wizard command. Now the first window that you'll see is the welcome screen, which tells you the date range of your two open fiscal and payroll tax years. Simply click the Next button to continue. The next screen asks you which years you wish to close. Depending on the available options, you can close either the displayed fiscal year, the displayed payroll tax year, or both the fiscal and the payroll tax years. You may not have all of the options available depending on the structure of your fiscal and payroll tax years. The wizard will prompt you to do what it thinks is the correct choice. So select the correct option and then click the next button to continue. If you still have unprinted items waiting to be printed for the year which you're trying to close, Sage 50 displays the unprinted items window. You should print out any unprinted items as you cannot do this once you've closed the year. The next screen is the Print Fiscal Year End Report screen. So that you have a proper audit trail for your company, Sage 50 strongly recommends that you print all fiscal year end reports. You can't do that once this process is complete. However, if there are any reports that you don't want to print, you can deselect the box for that report from the table within this window. You can also use the Check All and Check None buttons that appear. Now when you click the next button to continue, all the selected reports will print to your default printer, so you should check toner and add paper if needed. If you're using Sage 50 Premium Accounting or higher, you'll then see a screen that recommends that you run the Internal Accounting Review. If you want to run it, simply click the Internal Accounting Review button. Otherwise, click Next. We'll discuss the Internal Accounting Review later on in the tutorial. Now the next screen will be the Backup Company Data screen. To make a backup, simply click the Backup button. The Backup Company window appears, and if you want to be prompted to backup your files again in a specified number of days, simply check the Reminder checkbox. If you would like to include the name of your company within the backup file name, make sure that the name is checked in the Local Backup Settings section and then click the Backup button to begin the backup process. In the Save Backup As window, enter or select where you want to save your backup file. Sage 50 will create a name for the file using the date and the company name, and if you want to change this, simply enter a new name into the file name text box, and then click the Save button to make the backup. Sage 50 will then tell you how large the backup will be approximately, and simply click the OK button to continue and back up the data. Then click the Next button when you're ready to proceed. Next you'll see the New Open Fiscal Years window. In this window, the wizard lets you review the accounting periods in your current open fiscal year and the next fiscal year. If you need to restructure your company's next fiscal year for tax purposes, you can change the date range of the accounting periods in that year. However, it is generally not necessary. If in doubt, just check with your accountant before making the changes. 
you can click the current fiscal year option to see the ranges for the currently open fiscal year. You cannot change these dates. To see the dates of the accounting periods for the next fiscal year, click the next fiscal year option. This will display the accounting period for the next fiscal year. And to change the end dates of any of the displayed accounting periods, click the accounting period whose date you want to change. And in the to column, type or select a new date. When you change the to field, the from field for the next accounting period changes as well. When you're ready, simply click the next button to continue when you're finished. The next screen is the confirm year and close screen. This will confirm the years that you will be closing. If you think that any of this is incorrect, you can click the back button to find the previous screen where you need to make corrections and change the incorrect options. However, if things look correct, just simply click the next button to continue. This will bring up the Begin Close Year Process screen. Here you can just simply click the Begin Close button to close out the years. Once this process starts, however, it's imperative you do not disrupt it. Do not turn off your computer. Now this may take a while, so it's always best to do these processes at the end of the business day. Now when this process is finished, the Congratulations window will appear, showing a summary of the information closed and the new accounting period information. Simply click the Finish button to finish the process. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.